Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our um, YouTube channel. And uh, today, this is a very uh, controversial and uh, maybe I will be receiving a lot of bashing after this video. But uh, please, before you hate me, especially if you're one of the um, aspiring um, scholars or renter of um, Pegaxi, please uh, give me a chance. Um, please watch this um, video. It's only a few minutes and I won't take so much of your time. So this is all about the uh, share profit um, in um, Pegaxi. Um, this is the um, free free scholarship. You don't need to pay um, PGX to um, be able to rent a horse. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, there's still a lot of bots out there and it's really so hard to uh, get a horse via the share profit. But that's not the uh, main concern of this uh, video. Uh, this is about just echoing or um, just supporting what um, Mr. Corey Wilton had um, also answered during the latest um, Q&A uh, vlog that he just uh, posted in YouTube. If you hadn't seen this um, Q&A uh, video, I highly encourage you all to uh, go and um, watch it. Or, or if you want a summary of what um, he just mentioned, I also made a uh, separate video about that just discussing all the important points that he had answered from um, actual um, users and from the community. So one of the questions that was raised over there is the share profit percentage. Someone asked if what he thinks is the best or um, ideal share profit for the um, Pegaxi renters or scholars. And he said, um, for him, less than 30% is um, uh, just right. Um, higher than that will obviously put selling pressure to the um, uh, marketplace. And as you can see, um, when you go to the share profit um, tab of the uh, marketplace, you can see every second, you know, horses are being um, advertised for uh, direct renting. And you can see it varies in terms of the uh, share for the uh, renter or the scholar. It could be 15%, 5%. I've seen as high as um, 30%. I've seen a few 50%, not many. And then I also saw uh, see um, 3% as low as 1%. So it really varies, but most of the time I see 5%, 15%, 10%. <laughs> so for me, the ideal, the ideal only, guys, this is only from, from my own point of view. The ideal is between 10 to 30%. Lower than 10, I, I, I guess the effort is not worth enough or too low for the uh, renter. Higher than 30%, is also, I think, not good in terms of the um, tokenomics, which I will discuss further. So as you can see, this is the um, live uh, graph of the uh, Vigorous or VIS token from Coin Market Cap. So as you can see, at some point, it, it, it reached its um, all-time high of uh, point, almost 0.26. And then um, it, it started to go down to almost point um, uh, one six five somewhere around that. And obviously, this is an indication that many people are now selling because as we see from the stats that there's a lot of investors that had um, came in the past few uh, days and weeks, meaning number of horses increase number of um, VIS token minted increased. So obviously the selling of the coins also increased. But um, if you're not aware, investors usually burn the tokens while scholars sell, which is pretty understandable on the scholar side because as we all know, we this is a uh, play to earn game, meaning we want to um, play because we want to earn and eventually cash it out. 
the only difference between the investors and the scholars is when investors took the token minted by the horse, most of them, if not 100%, are burning them by either at the moment the breeding is highly used for burning the um, tokens. So most investors, when they get um, VIS from their um, horses, they use that to breed again. Because uh, when they buy uh, virgin um, pegas, they usually burn it at, at least up to three times to make a really decent profit. While on the other side of the equation are the scholars, since obviously we cannot blame them as well, as much as they want to reuse the, um, the uh, token to breed, it will not be enough. It will not be enough. But most importantly, scholars need the money. So tendency is they will um, sell. So what will happen? Let's give a very specific example. Just for example, we have 100 Vs minted, right? And if, say, we use 80% um, um, goes to the investor and then 20% go to the scholar, what will happen is the 80 vis will be reused for breeding by the investors or they can convert it into a, a PGX, while the remaining 20 vis will be cashed out. So can you imagine, guys, what will happen? What will happen if it's the other way around? How, like, 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 Obviously, what had happened to Axie Infinity, most scholars there received 50% or some got lucky and received 60%. Most of the time, those are the um, pro uh, split profit in Axie Infinity. So what happens? Many and many SLP are being sold in the market. So what happened? It constantly went down, 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 and down until it reached the point that it, became, it becomes less than one cent. So it's very painful. And now they're trying to scrap all this um, uh, SLP. But again, we don't want to discuss more on Ax Axe Infinity side. We're here to explain and help you understand, guys, why why it's very effective to just set the... the, the um, split profit below 30%. And as you've seen the past few weeks, the, the, the rise of the token keeps going, mainly because we burn more than we sell. So just, just think about this before you judge me. Just think about this. What do you prefer? You have a, a um, large portion of share profit, but the price keeps declining, like what had happened to Axe Infinity, or you get less, but you see the token rise. You see the, the, the value of the token keeps going up. So this is something that I want you guys to, to think about before you eventually hate me. And as a conclusion, um, for me, I support that 10 to 30%, but not that low. I, I don't want, you know, 5%. For me, that's too low for, yeah, I understand you just click the start, but still you're spending effort to, you know, wait for the energy to to refresh you need to you know obviously time it as well and yes for me i mean as an investor i i, I will be happy to give at least minimum of 10 percent not below 10 percent but at the same time on the other hand of the um uh of the stories we don't want to give so much as well only to protect the um price of the token so I hope at this point in time, you already understand why even Mr. Corey Wilton is saying that below 30% is ideal in terms of the um, profit sharing between the owner of the horse and the um, renter or the scholar. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about this explanation that I have. I've tried to simplify why um, that should remain and what why it should be continuously um, done. Um, let me know if you agree with this. If not, I'll be happy to read why, why you think so. And if you agree, I'll be happy to uh, see it as well and why you agree as well. And of course, please don't forget to support me in our um, other social media pages where we uh, post uh, announcement of um, scholarships and promotions. 
and uh, at the same time videos like this. Thank you so much, guys. I hope I had enlightened you and I hope you will not hate me after this. Okay, let's go and race until next time. See you all.